we're going to do some broadcasting here live at KAZ Radio, Cleveland's online inspiration station. And you know what, folks? I have a very special guest <laughs> in the studio. Not in the studio, but in the studio today. <laughs> Sometimes I say in the audience, but in the studio, none other than my main man, Kyle Five Cent Nickel. What's going on, man? What's going on, Larry? How you doing? Man, I'm doing great, man. You know. Good. We know you're from BoxCast. That's right. That's right. And we're going to talk a little bit about BoxCast in a minute. Sure. But what my audience wants to know, are you saved? Oh, uh, yes. I absolutely am saved. Well, please feel free to give them your <laughs> testimony. Sure. Yeah. Um, so like Larry said, my name's Kyle. Uh, I work with BoxCast and specifically with uh, churches. Um, you know, my testimony, actually, I was actually... Um, born in a, in a Christian family. Uh, my dad was really connected with an organization called Young Life. Uh, and it's a Christian youth nonprofit organization. And, uh, you know, so I, I always kind of grew up going to church and kind of, um, you know, knew my way around the, the Bible. Um, but, you know, we always had these events at our house when I was little for, for kids in high school to come uh, learn about Jesus. And so wow. when I was about five years old, my mom asked me if I uh, wanted to accept Jesus into my heart, you know, and I was five years old, and I, that's when I prayed the prayer, uh, you know, um, about, you know, the to, Lord's to, to accept you know, Jesus accept into my heart. Right, you know, right. Obviously, I didn't fully understand the depth of my sin, and, and you know, um, you were sinner at five years old. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was, but, you know, I, I, it, um, when I turned about 16 years old, I went yeah. to a, a summer camp. Um, and that's kind of where I really kind of understood what Jesus did for me and how I died on the cross. And so um, it was about 16 um, when I really kind of dedicated my life to Christ. But even then, you know, we still all have bumps and bruises. Oh, come and, on now. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, it wasn't until I was about freshman, sophomore year of high school, uh, college, freshman, sophomore year of college that, um, you know, I really started taking my faith really seriously. And I was then involved in uh, organizations like Campus Crusade and Young Life and um, awesome. You know, I play um, drums at, at my church for our worship band, and so right, right. Uh, that's kind of been my journey in a nutshell. You know what right, I mean? But right. um, uh, I've been very fortunate and blessed to have been uh, raised in a Christian home, and absolutely, um, that's kind of been that's kind of my my story in a nutshell. Well, you know what, Kyle? That you know what? I love that. Hmm. I, I love the fact that you know your family saw the importance of of you receiving Christ even at a, at a young age and then you actually receiving Christ on your own yeah. at a teenage age right? and then when you got into college. So exactly. you are a, a representative of this dynamic <laughs> company called yes. BoxCast. Yes. I mean this uh, box sitting in front of you is probably one of the most ingenuous. There, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna focus on right now. <laughs> right, there we is go. one of the most ingenuous things I've ever seen. Tell us about this box cast and all that it can do. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, um, we're currently using box cast to stream this what? live. So, um, if we're you're using watching, box cast? <laughs> yeah, you that guys, clean picture is from box cast. That picture oh. right there is from box cast. Wow. Um, but we, what we've done is we recognize um, that churches uh, specifically um, want to do video, that they feel like they need to, to be relevant. They feel like it's something that um, they, they want to get their message out to as many people as possible. Uh, so what we've done is we've created an easy, affordable uh, solution for churches to broadcast live and archive video directly to their church's website. And so one of the things, um, one of the things that we've done is, you know, this this box is all you need in order to live video stream and archive your services. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on, man. I know. Come on, I know. Man. It's that I've easy. been using, man. We've been using computers exactly for ages. Right. And now you're trying to tell me that that little box, okay, can stream my church service. Worldwide. That's right. Yeah. Well, so one of the things that's nice is, like, kind of like you mentioned, Larry. Um, you know, we've used computers, you know, to stream in the past, and computers weren't really meant to handle video information. 
so when we, what we've done is we've created this encoder and this compressor, which is basically what this is, and it actually transmits video quality much more perfectly. And we actually also have the patent on autonomous streaming. And so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Autonomous <laughs> streaming? What is that word? It's a big word. For autonomous me. streaming, so uh, automated. And so this box actually doesn't even have a button on it. It's wow. actually going to turn on and turn off by itself. And so you schedule events through a web portal. You go to boxcast.com, uh, you use your login and password, and you can schedule events from anywhere. So you don't need a computer to stream. So, so Kyle, okay. I can take that box. Mm -hmm. show, 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 show the folks the box again. I can take that box and just plug it into my camera, my switcher, or whatever I'm using, and I'll be able to stream worldwide. Right. That's exactly right. And so we throw that out to our, our servers, and anyone in the world actually gets the same viewing experience because we're cloud-based. So if someone is watching in China, if you have missionaries overseas, or maybe someone in the military, they're actually accessing a local server. So they're going to get a really crisp uh, image. But to kind of explain to you, you know, the inputs here, it's a just an it's an HDMI uh, input or an RCA. Okay, so show us that. Yeah, I'll show you right here, so you can right zoom there. in on that. Okay. Um, there's HDMI here, uh, RCA. So the, everyone's kind of familiar with the the red, uh, white, and the yellow. Sure, here. sure. Um, but you know, you could bring in you know one video camera or a switcher through here. So if you did multiple different camera angles, uh, this box can actually handle up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. And so you can also bring in your soundboard through the RCA, and it's going to be uh, it's going to hook up and sync up uh, perfectly. And so the other end right here is just going to be an internet connection. So you just plug that in using an Ethernet cable, and that's going to this box is going to send that footage directly to your website. And so one thing that we realized to kind of continue on uh, is that you know, there are a million things to do on Sunday mornings, and almost <laughs> never enough volunteers to make it happen as smoothly as you'd like. And so what we've done is we've tried to take, you know, uh, the volunteers out of it to make it easier for churches. And so, uh, you know, this, this box is really going to be all you need. It replaces a computer. It replaces a uh, volunteer, okay. but still kind of giving you guys that okay. full quality okay. Okay. service. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm over in Africa someplace. Let's say Cameroon, West Africa. Sure. I log on to my... Um, I'm gonna make it hard. I get on my iPhone in Cameroon, South Af West Africa, and I go to church service on my phone. Whoever's streaming that box cast. So, okay. so if they're in America, so right now someone in Cameroon, West Africa, can see this program right now. Absolutely. On their iPhone. Absolutely. But it, but it doesn't work on the iPad though. No, it does work on the iPad. It Wait works a on. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. It, it, so it works on my iPhone. It works mm -hmm. on my iPad. That's right. It just doesn't work on my computer. No, it works on your computer too. Wow. Right. And it's it's wow. viewable. It's viewable on any device: Apple, Android, Mac, PC. Uh, you know, and we're continually releasing new firmware updates. So if if, if there's new phones coming out, new. Um, uh, I guess um, systems, new things. So we're continually releasing firmware updates. They're going to be updated automatically through the box. Any new feature we release, you don't need a new box. Okay. It's going to be you're going to be able to watch on any device. So it, it, it's almost like carrying a, 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 a television station uh, in a box. That's what I like to refer to it as. Correct. But yes. but can I can I really take it to other locations, or do I have to keep it at the, at the church? Right. You, you absolutely can take this to other locations. And I think that's one of the other beautiful things about what BoxCast does and how we help ministries is that it's incredibly mobile. And so if you wanted to take this box with you to another ministry, if you're, if you're delivering a sermon from another church yes. and you want to continue to have your, people, you know, the, your congregants or your uh, followers continue to watch your messages online, you can plug this box in with any system. And so um, it also connects Wi-Fi and wirelessly. So if you could hold okay, this up. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I, I'm about to take the show off the air. <laughs> I know. I'm about to take it. You, wait, <laughs> you're, you're telling us that I don't have to plug that box in to my Ethernet. Right. 
if, if you didn't have a, a, an, an internet connection potentially in your sound booth uh, where you're streaming from, you know, back in the, in the back of the sanctuary, uh, you could absolutely disconnect this wirelessly, configure it wirelessly, and be streaming from any other room uh, in your building. Or you could take it with you to different locations and um, when, you, when you plug it in, you know, there's three green LEDs here that light up. Right. One for the internet connection, one for the camera connection, and one for when you're streaming. It'll show that you're actually streaming. Um, when you connect it wirelessly, every time the box caster is plugged in, it'll automatically recognize that Wi-Fi signal and the light will turn on green. Well, you know, that, that, that is remarkable to me. Um, so I, I guess we're going to ask you this question. We've got tons of things we want to know, but sure. I'm, I'm assuming uh, we're looking at about $10,000 for, for a piece of equipment like this. Actually, uh, no. no. Okay, okay. Uh, $5,000. Keep going lower. Come on. No. Okay. Uh, no. About yeah. three grand. Keep going. Keep going. Wait, you're telling me I get all this technology, all this streaming technology. Okay, wait. Let's see. A Mac costs about $2,500. $2,500. $2, $2, Keep going. Keep going lower. $2,000? <laughs> all right. Tell, tell me. Tell, this, tell my audience the price. This is going to be $500. Get out. No, so th this we've tried to make it as affordable as possible. Five hundred dollars, right? And it replaces the need for a computer entirely, and it's going to be able to deliver a higher quality image. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first from KAG Radio. <laughs> you know I don't lie to you. I try to bring good Christians on the air to to share their their testimonies, but this one here, I got my doubts. <laughs> I got my job. You get all that technology, right? Streaming worldwide. That's right. Being able to 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 touch lives for Jesus Christ everywhere, every corner of the earth where they have a a, a cell phone or an iPad or Android or a computer. And, you know that for only five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars is what the box costs. There is a monthly subscription. Okay. Because we do handle. Um, all storage so we're not going to have you know the videos be hosted by the church we're going to handle all the storage so that it doesn't slow down the church's website wow um we're wow. also we're also going to be able to deliver analytics so you guys can be able to tell how many viewers you have live how many viewers you have archived and how many uh for the a lot of time that people are tuning in right um so it kind of gives you know ministries a good way to gauge whether this is something that makes sense for them right um you know Kind of like you mentioned, you know, it is something that's done worldwide and it's done for for ministries, and so that that's why why I like to consider it my ministry because people can tune in from all around the world to hear about Jesus Christ that maybe never could have before. What what, what tell us about your ministry? How do you go about sharing this fabulous uh, technology that the Lord is obviously uh, blessed you guys with? How do you go about uh, sharing it with? With churches, yeah. So we, you know, I, I work with an associate of mine, Brett, um, and so we travel to different pastors' conferences all around the country. Um, you know, we're very fortunate in that way to be able to travel to California and to, to Florida, and so we, we get to meet with pastors and we get to just sit down with them and tell them, you know, because we know that you know pastors about ten minutes into a Google search about live video streaming. They practically want to pull their hair out because it's just been so confusing. Right. And so we've just made it easy for them. And so the best best way I think to communicate um, a technology like Boxcast that tends to be so complicated is face to face. Uh, unfortunately, we can't reach them. We can't tell every pastor. We can't reach them all that way. And so um, that's why something like this, Larry, is so great. KZ Radio, um, you know, broadcasting using Boxcast to reach those pastors that maybe not. Uh, have not been able to hear about it before. Amen. Now, here's my my question. Um, the Lord has has obviously blessed you guys with this uh, box cast, uh, but can it be used for any other type of of streaming? Um, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so we do offer unlimited streaming and unlimited archiving. Uh, so we actually, um, you know, if, if you wanted to use it for a sports team, if you wanted to use it for your school, if you wanted to use it for any kind of organization, organization you, you absolutely could. Um, you know, but we've, we're a company founded and led by believers, and so we, we're, it's really our mission to help the local church. But outside of your church services, you can use this 
like I mentioned, with unlimited streaming to, to stream your Wednesday night Bible studies. You can use it to stream your weddings, the funerals that are happening at your churches, your children's ministry. Wow. Um, and so all of these things, um, you know, we, we don't only do public broadcasts. Like, like I don't know if I, I've mentioned this before, but we're streaming directly to the church's website. Um, we also offer not only public streams, but private ones. So if you wanted to send out a private stream to someone um, that you knew wasn't going to make it, if you had an elders or deacons meeting, um, you guys could stream that to someone maybe that wasn't able to attend. Or um, there's a lot of practical applications, you know, in ministry and outside of ministry that this can be used, right? Um, you know, to to glorify God first and foremost, but then also um, in some secular ways as well. Well, you know, so. you know, I, I've been I've been privileged to to have used this. Uh, for about six months, mm-hmm. and and I and I and I like it a lot. Um, been sharing it with with other churches and pastors. I know a lot of them, mm-hmm. but here's what I'm running into, and maybe you can help them understand. Sure. Um, you know, the Bible tells us in the book of Mark, chapter 16. It says in verse 15, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm-hmm. Now Jesus was a prophet. Because he had to know that, okay, how can one guy go out into all the world? Sure. And how can even the 12 disciples go out into all the world? But now here we are in 2015 with something as remarkable as streaming. Hmm. But I still find pastors a little bit hesitant right. to stream. How can we help them? Well, I, mean, I, I can't absolutely. afford a Fortnite. I can't <laughs> afford a $500. Man, I ain't got $500 in my pocket right now. Absolutely. Well, what can what can we do at Boxcast to help those guys out? Um, well, you know, as, as far as theologically, kind of like you explained, Larry, um, it, it does say in Romans, you know, blessed are the feet of those who carry the good news. Yes. And yes. In, in biblical times, um, you know, that was the only way they could communicate a message would be to travel from one location to the next, yes. delivering that message themselves. Feet in that in that in that verse mm-hmm. would be the the method of delivery mm. for for the message. That's a good because that's the only way that they could carry that message from place to place. Yes. Now, God, you know, has has blessed us with an, an amazing amount of ways that we can share the good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. That He has died for our sins and He has and He has saved us. And what whether whether I believe personally that whether. You are sharing the gospel through email, through Facebook, through live video streaming with Boxcast. God is going to use that in ways that you that you that you don't you don't even know yet. You, and so, technology can be um, a, good, a great way to share to share the message of, of Christ. Like you mentioned before, you know, Mark Mark, uh, Mark twelve thirty, go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Right. How how do you practically go into the world when a lot of times churches feel like the, all they can do is is within their own walls of their of their building. And so it's about taking it from here to where people are. And more people are online than ever before. So for the the, the church that's the <coughs> pastor synagogue whoever's listening what do they need in their facility mm. so that this box cast would work sure sure uh, so with box cast you need two, two things uh, once you purchase box cast obviously you have your box caster the two things you will need will be a camera and an internet connection okay and so um, you know if you have a if you're a lot, of, a lot of churches are already doing video in some degree you know if you're you're uploading it to YouTube if you're doing Vimeo um, so that you know that usually that's taken care of but that's not going to be live it's not going to be broadcasted it's not going to be a TV station on your website um, so the camera on one side and then the internet connection and so um, you do need to have good upload speed and so upload speed um, is different than download speed. A lot of people are familiar with download speed sure. because and that's kind of what internet providers really sell. And they don't really ever tell you what their upload speed. But mm. if you think about it, um, anytime you go to the internet on your computer or on your phone, you're downloading information from the internet, in this mystical cloud, right, right, to your phone. Right. Anytime you send information up, if you upload a picture to Instagram or to Facebook, that's all uploading. And so what that what you're doing with, with uh, streaming is you're actually using your upload speed to uh, to stream, 
And so you have to have a good upload speed at your church. So you have to have a good internet connection. So those will be the two things. It's a, ca a clean camera feed and a clean internet connection, and you can stream directly to your website. So I'm able to get upload speed how? What's the best upload speed uh, I, could, I, I should have in my sure. church? Sure. You know, and, um, Do you know that? Yeah, and it's, it's all about um, you know, the viewer's experience. And so to, um, to stream, uh, we can actually stream up to 1080p, three frames per second. Um, you know, uh, for 720p, we'd like to see about three megs of upload speed. Um, for uh, standard definition, which is just 480p, we'd like to see one meg of upload speed, which is actually way less than a lot of other providers are going to have, uh, are going to, are going to require. A um, couple things technologically that we're doing is that we're transcoding in the cloud. So we actually bring in one bit rate or video quality on your church's network. Um, which I don't know if you've ever you know, been on YouTube, you've seen that there's multiple different sure. video qualities that you can pick from, sure. right? So we're just going to be bringing in one video quality, taking that up to the cloud, bringing it down into five there, kind of doing all the heavy lifting there, and streaming it into five different bit rates to the viewers so that they're adaptive. So that if they're watching on a, if they're watching on a poor network quality, then it's going to automatically be able to adjust to something that they can manage. That they can manage. Now, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I've noticed with streaming, um, there's always these pop-ups and these advertisements mm -hmm. that come. Right. Uh, do you guys advertise, too, on our on, on your um, box cast? No, and so that's the other another way that we want to be able to bless your ministry. It's going to be a white label player. Nothing on it will even say box cast, and there's not one advertisement. The wow. No matter if you're streaming archived or live footage, um, we want to make sure that there's nothing distracting viewers from hearing your message or partaking in worship with you as on Sunday mornings uh, or Bible studies. We don't want anything to take away from that. Okay. I I now know the catch. I know what the catch is. <laughs> where's, where's the catch? Here's the catch. Something happens. My 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 stream is 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 messed up, and I got to email you, and I'm in the middle of a service. I have no way to call anybody, you know. So I'm sitting there looking dumb, and I have no customer service. That's where you, you provide no customer service with this, right? <laughs> What we actually do provide uh, to 24-7 customer support. Wait a minute. 24-7 customer support. That's right. Yeah, 24-7. So we actually have people on Sunday mornings who are actually monitoring your live streams. Uh, so if, some, if you were live streaming on Sunday morning, right. uh, Larry, and you know something happened, you scheduled an event, it wasn't working, uh, one of our Josh's, because we've got a couple of Josh's on customer yeah. support, they would actually call you, hey, Larry, I forgot you, saw you forgot to plug your video camera in. Wow. Yeah, or whatever it is that was going on that week, they would be able to help you guys stream and uh, get up and running again. Okay, okay, so they're going to contact tech me how? By email or, or by one of those chat things? Oh, I hate those chat <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll actually give their, give you a call. A call? Um, yeah. They you can, mean on the phone? Right, the, yeah. Your customer service, your support staff will call me on my phone. Right. And help me. Exactly. Wow. Uh, and so that's... that's the of. That, Right, and that's, you know, the kind of where the subscription comes in, too, is because, you know, we have people working to make sure that your message is being broadcast worldwide and being able to reach those people that can't make it. Okay. What's the cost of... I got no church. Sure. Okay. What's the cost for the subscription? Subscription fee. Uh, so it's going to be only $100 a month oh, there we for, go. for high definition or 75 for standard definition. Uh, you know, and we, do, we do uh, That's you know, awesome. gauge the monthly subscription based on average Sunday attendance. Um, okay. So, I mean... That's going to be as cheap as you can find out there wow. for the quality that we're and, and and for the features that we're we're delivering. Um, that it's a steal. Is so. a deal. <laughs> yeah. That is a deal. So you know, I'm I am very impressed, and actually, I am very happy with the Boxcast solution. It has helped out several pastor buddies of mine trying to get more of them online. Sure. To uh, oh, wait a minute. But I gotta have a website for them to see. Oh. Uh, you actually don't oh. have to have a website. 
Larry, uh, uh, we, we do promote on Facebook, we promote on Twitter. Uh, you guys can kind of share, uh, you can share that link that way um, so that people can access your stream, you know, using those venues as well. Uh, and as well as you can just email them a link and they can just, you know, click on the email link and kind of open it up that way. And it's a great way to, to share your message, even if you don't have a website. Um, so we'd like to think that we've thought of it all. <laughs> but you you have yeah you, you you truly have thought of it all well Josh you know man I want to thank you so much for being a part of the KAZ radio family you know sharing I'm not Josh uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry Kyle <laughs> you said there's so many Josh in the office right, yeah there's so many but, but Kyle there. I want to thank you so much for for sharing with with the pastors that that will be tuning in on on KAZ uh, I'll pump this up a lot on our Facebook page because they need this. Right. They really, really need this. No more just preaching to the four walls. You got to get out to the community. You got to get out into the world. I had a church that honestly just bought one just the other day, World Harvest, and and they're loving it. Um, working out the little kinks there in their mm -hmm. own, but the box does what it's supposed to do. Right. You know, and and they're enjoying they're enjoying the streams. They're enjoying uh, everything about the box cast. And I want other pastors to enjoy sharing the gospel mm -hmm. because I have one pastor who uh, streams and he calls me and says, James, I get more speaking engagements right. around the country because I'm streaming, because I'm sharing the gospel and people can tune in and watch and enjoy his style of preaching. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. and and so it's a great tool, and also too, there's a little uh, something that if they want to charge a little bit of money for yes. a uh, a ticket, um, like a concert or a special conference, tell us about that before we close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, the other event I kind of told you guys, we do public events, private events. We also do ticketed events, and so we have uh, some clients that you know um, they'll be able to set a ticket price for a live stream and every person that goes to access their stream will pay an X amount of money um, to view the stream and that's a great way if you're doing a conference or throwing a big event or if you're um, you know, putting on a, yeah, I guess a concert so, so something along those lines where you want people that are tuning in online to kind of pay it's a, it's a good way to actually um, you know help make uh, make money for your ministry sure absolutely uh, not only that but you know it can kind of help pay for that monthly subscription uh, and just knowing that you're reaching those people, um, it's, it's still... Um, and you can charge as much as you want, or is there a limit? Uh, so it's, it's as much as you want. Or as um, little as, as you want? Yeah, as much or as little as you would want. For really? That. Right. So I can charge $2? Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. That is awesome. That is awesome. Well, Kyle, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> Kyle, five cent nickel. <laughs> <laughs> live right here on KAZ Radio sharing with us and what is the website address I wanted to put the website up but my yeah. I made some malfunctions here <laughs> what is the website address so we're at boxcast.com but I'd also encourage uh, any Cleveland church if you're in the area you know um, we're here located at the Burke Lakefront Airport I would encourage you guys to come down talk to Larry or myself we can give you guys a demo um, it's it's really you know the heartbeat of our of our company to help your ministry. So we'd love to have you guys stop by. Thank you very much, Kyle, and you have a blessed day. Absolutely, thank you. Thank